Hey, welcome to Oak Street Off-Road. I'm your old pal, Mitch. If you like the content that you see on this channel, please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And what we're going to go through is just give you some information on what I've done with my Jeep and what could possibly help you out be a more confident off-road enthusiast possibly save you some money in the future so let's start at the front of this vehicle which this is panic she is a 2018 jeep wrangler sport and absolutely love this vehicle she does have some limitations on her and some things that one thing that i probably would not have done on this particular build and I'll share that with you, is that, and I want to try to save you some money. Know what direction you're going in with your vehicle when you purchase it. So let's start right up here at the front. This is a turbo liter, or turbo charged two liter engine, commonly referred to as the hurricane engine. Fantastic engine. I've had zero problems with it. So the first mod I did was I put this s and cold air intake on it. Took out the factory and it flows so much better. Got a million mile warranty on it. You can clean the filter. They send you everything. Now the one thing I should have done was waited about six months or possibly a year because this was kind of expensive but the price has come down significantly but the more air in more air out that's what you want the next thing i did was put on an xt heavy duty front bumper and it only came in the powder coating so i took it to a local shop had them strip that off and then I had it painted body color, which I think looks fantastic. The fit and finish is great. You've got mounting points for your lights up here, so you can put lights up or down or whatever you want to do with it. Looks fantastic. Then I put on an Engo 10,000 pound winch with the synthetic line. Now with this particular build, I've only used this winch one time and for this build I probably would not have put that winch on there because it cost me about four or five hundred dollars and to use it one time I don't think I would do it again plus it adds a lot of weight that's about say you know 60 65 pounds of weight these things are not aerodynamic um, so the more weight you put on, it kills your fuel mileage. But what I did do was put on a Mopar factory two inch lift, which is factory bolt on. You use some of your, a lot of your factory hardware comes with these Fox shocks, which are two and a half inch tubes and it works great. It's bolt on. Absolutely love it. The next thing I did was I threw on a set of KO2 tires, which these are all terrain tires. These have got about 35,000 miles on them, maybe a little bit more. They've got plenty of life left in these tires. I can fully expect to get probably about 60,000 miles out of these tires as long as you do your rotation every time you get your oil change. Then I wrap them around a set of Pro Comp wheels in the matte black finish, which I believe fits the rest of the vehicle because your, your fender flares are sort of a matte black color. Your mirrors are matte black, so it fills it out. Plus two, with the Mopar factory lift, you get this cool badge. 
that you can place right down here under your trail rated badge. Looks fantastic. Love it. The next thing I did was I'm like, oh, I cannot stop there. So I installed these Ruby rails, which basically all they do is there is this ugly pinch seam from when at the factory they put the body together. It looks ugly. And this is a simple bolt on two bolts, one on each side in the front and rear. And simple, easy. And that's going to save possible body damage. Next thing I did was install these rock sliders, which serve, serves two functions, which is, number one, it's kind of a step to get into the vehicle. Number two, if you're going over an obstacle or something heavy, a tree, a rock, or whatever it is, you're going to hit this first before it gets into the uh, body of the vehicle itself. Saves some damage. Now, one other thing that I did do, which was pretty fun, was I wrapped the top of the glove box and above the Speedo and Tack in a vinyl which is the same color as the body because I couldn't stand that matte black finish. It just sort of drove me crazy. So I wrapped that. That was about a hundred bucks. Um, about eh, quite a few hours to do it, but it was definitely worth it because it just makes it all flow. Here in the back, what I've done is I installed this Jeep um, tailgate, which is super easy. You just simply pop this plastic piece out right here. And then on the inside, it has actual dimples to where you just run a drill bit through there, four screws, put it together. And this adds a lot of functionality to the vehicle. So when it's lunchtime, when you're off-roading, you can come out here and, oh my gosh, I don't have a whole lot of room behind the rear seat. So when it's time to have some sandwiches or whatever it is, lunchtime, you're ready to go. Super fun, super efficient, absolutely do this. The next thing is that I do not consider this a mod. I consider it standard equipment, a fire extinguisher. It's mounted right on the roll cage. This is a one and a half pound fire extinguisher. Must have. Absolutely do it. The other thing that I've installed is a factory tow kit. And it is totally wired uh, with the seven pin and the four pin, but the towing capacity on this two door is about 1300 pounds. So you're not going to tow a lot of stuff with it, but for a small trailer or whatever, it works fantastic. The next thing is that with the air going in, you have to get the air out. So I installed a Magnaflow axle back dual exhaust, which is about one third the size of the original 10 can that came on this. So you're going to get better flow, more air in, more air out. And according to what I've seen when I revved up the Google machine on the interweb, is you get about 10 to 15 percent increase in horsepower and torque and for those mods um it pays for itself so i would absolutely do this again and so
So once again, if you enjoy the information that's going to be on upcoming videos, please subscribe, like, and share. And we're going to be giving you a lot more information that's going to make you a more confident and more competent off-road enthusiast. And thank you very much. And once again, this is Oak Street Off-Road. I'm your old pal, Mitch.